Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hello everyone, today I'm gonna cook me some traditional Vietnamese beef soup. It's a well-known dish in Vietnamese cuisine. I think when people are introduced to Vietnamese cuisine, I think the beef soup is one of the first thing I think it, it being introduced. Uh, it is definitely delicious. It is cooked with a uh, lot of beef bones and uh, make the broth simmer for a long time to create the delicious soup. Okay, so last weekend we were invited to a friend house for some uh, Vietnamese beef soup and I like it a lot. So this week I'm gonna try to recreate it. I got the recipe from uh, her and uh, I added a few items and ingredients of my own. And now I'm gonna try to create this uh, delicious Vietnamese beef soup right here in this pot. Okay, so here are the ingredients that I'm gonna use. So you're gonna start out with beef bones. So I already have it in the pot, it is some extra. And then, here I got thin slice of a beef. That what you're gonna put at the end when everything is finished and when you're making your a bowl. You can either uh, eat it uh, rare or put it in the hot broth to cook it. Okay, so when you make the broth, you can either add some uh, seasoning that are very uh, made for you, or you can just uh, do it by, uh, you know, tasting your broth and ha adding salt, uh, sugar. Also, one of the main ingredient, I think it's gonna be this packet right here of seasoning. It uh, just means Northern style, Vietnamese full spices. And then we're gonna root the ginger later to put it in when we start making the broth. We also have to uh, roast the uh, onion also. And then uh, when you're eating, you have to, uh, you know, beef meatball with tendons because we like uh, tendon, but then also beef meatball that without tendons. Also, you don't have to uh, uh, put meatball if you don't want. Then uh, we got green onions, uh, bean sprout, and then here are the herbs. I got uh, basil, Thai basil, green onion, we're gonna slice it uh, smaller, cilantro, and lime. And then uh, right here is the fresh rice stick noodle. That's what it's gonna look like when we're done, so. They are just, you know, uh, some of the main ingredients. You can also make it the way how you like it and you can add uh, extra or you can take some of the other ingredients off. But this is what I'm making today. So uh, right now I'm waiting for the bones in here to boil to uh, take it out and uh, rinse and clean it. And then put it back in and try uh, cooking the broth, so. Okay, so now the Hot, it bring to boil now I'm gonna take it out and rinse it and clean the stuff and then uh, ready to cook the broth okay so I have rinsed it clean basically trying to clean it a little bit to get rid of some of the stuff that's uh, after you boil it stuck to it so right here what I have it right here I got the beef bones a lot of time people cook uh, beef noodle soup they just use the beef bone only but I also add uh, some extra stuff. Right here is the beef neck bone. Why do I add it? Because it got meat that you can eat with your soup. And then uh, I also add you know, like tendon. So did also, uh, you know, get what are your preference. You don't have to have all these. And then the time I add uh, right here is uh, beef feet. So yeah, I got you know what, four different types to uh, cook and uh, make my broth. So, uh, you know, you don't have to use all these, but uh, you can give it a try to see you like it. You can get all this stuff either at your Asian market or at your, probably your uh, local grocery market also. Okay, so after I clean the uh, bones and uh, the stuff, 
and then I cleaned the pot and now I'm gonna put the water and uh, put the bones and all this stuff back in to make the broth. Okay, now I'm gonna put the bones, neck bones and the tendon back into the pot and uh, start making the, the broth. Okay, so just like that. And then I'm gonna fill it up to the level that I want. Then I'm gonna leave the beef feet in there and put it in later because I don't think this one need to be cooked at long, at long. Okay, so now it's on the stove and uh, turn it on high and let it bring to boil. As you can see, I didn't put the water all the way on top because I'm gonna add other ingredients in later and I don't wanna fill it up. I'm gonna put about three spoon of salt into the pot. And then uh, shut it and uh, let it bring to boil. On half an hour later, the pot bring to a boil. You turn down the heat and now we're gonna let it simmer. It's gonna probably be simmering at low heat for about three to four hours at least. Okay, while the broth is simmering, I'm gonna roast my uh, spices. So you're gonna put it in a, a pan and gonna roast it to give it a, you know, a beautiful aroma and a more flavor. Okay, so what are some of the spices in here? It looks like we got star, anise, cardamom, clove, cinnamon, licorice, and uh, peppers. And basically we just kind of, when the pan heat up, just stir it. Don't let it burn though. We just want to roast. Okay, when you're roasting your spices, make sure you uh, Stir it, mix it, don't let it sit in one area because it will burn. So the key is get to stir it at often until you can smell uh, the aroma. And then you can stop. So this right here is good for me. Now I'm gonna stop. So once you are done with roasting your uh, spices, Put it in the pouch, it came in the bag. So once you put it in the pouch, then you, uh, when the time ready, you can put it in the broth. So after roasting the spices, I put it in the pouch that it came with. It smells so good. I'm gonna leave it here now until it's time to put in the pot with the broth. Okay, so take an onion, uh, peel it and uh, cut it in half. And uh, take some ginger, wash, and then uh, slice it in half. Now we're gonna uh, roast it over a flame, just like that. That will give it a good aroma uh, and bring out the flavor. If you don't have uh, something that uh, have flame like that, you can use an oven or do it on the stove. Okay, so you just put the onion on top of the flame and uh, make sure it get a little choy but not too not too much because it will burn and create like uh, you know black burn we just want to do this to make the onion uh, you know bring out the aroma and it will help the fur get it flavor too Key it not to, uh, you know, make it uh, on fire, but just choy it a little bit. Okay, now we smelled so good. Make sure you rotate and you turn so it doesn't burn. Okay, so after a few minutes, the 
onion and the ginger, it chai and smells so good. Just make sure you don't overdo it so it don't burn. If you do burn, you can scrape the black part off. I might have to do uh, some scraping so it doesn't uh, go into the soup and uh, change the color. So, Okay, so after scraping some of the black burn spots, uh, get what it looked like. And I'm going to leave it right here until it's time to put it into the pot. Okay, so the beef bones, neck bones, and tendon been uh, simmering in the pot for two hours. Now I'm going to add in the beef feet. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Be careful, don't splat and get burned. Okay, now I'm gonna stir it and let it simmer for another hour. Okay, so after adding in the beef feet, I'm gonna stir it up, mix it up. You know, if I have a person recording, I wouldn't have to be uh, multitask, uh, stirring and recording at the same time. But you know what? That you're gonna have to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it uh, simmer for another hour before I add in the ginger, onions, and uh, the spices. Smelling good already. So the broth have been uh, simmering for three hours. Now I'm gonna take the onions and ginger and uh, put it in. We are halfway done. By the time everything is done, probably be uh, six hours of total times. The longer the broth is simmer, the better it's gonna taste. Okay, now I'm gonna simmer it for another hour before I put in the spice. Okay, while your broth is simmering, you can take a ladle and uh, just kind of skim the top like the bubble and the fat up. Just kind of do this so the broth would be uh, clear and it would uh, taste better. You see that? Just the very top layer. We got the very top layer are very fatty and you know, uh, and the bubble and the uh, the foam so you can do that until the broth it uh, it clear so that's what I'm gonna do okay so as you can see the broth it clear once I skim the foam or the top fatty layer up and I just put it in the container I'm gonna dump it out so the pot been uh, cooking for four hours now. Now I'm gonna put in my spice packet. And I'm gonna tie it to the side here and let it uh, cook with the broth. So I put in the spice it pouch and I tie it to the handle on the side like that. Now I'm just gonna leave it simmer for another hour before I retaste. Probably add more uh, seasoning such as salt, sugar, some fish sauce, and the beef soup base. Okay, so it's been five hours now. I'm gonna take out the neck bones because I don't want the meat on the neck bone to uh, overcook. I want it to cook to where it fall off the bone, but not to uh, overcook so that's what I'm gonna do so I'll take it out until uh, I re-season it and then I'll put it back in a little later toward the end okay after taking out the beef neck bones I will uh, continue to let it simmer but the reason I took it out because I think the meat on the neck bone it uh, it good enough 
it to a point where it fall off the bones and uh, I don't want it to overcook it anymore and toward the end after I re-season it I will put it back in so it will soak up the seasoning and be perfect. So my broth has been simmering here for five hours now. Now I'm going to add some more uh, seasonings to make it taste better and uh, here are the seasonings I'm going to add. It has uh, fish sauce, salt, sugar, uh, chicken flavor soup base, a little bit of MSG's, and beef flavor soup base. How much I'm going to add? I'm going to join it with uh, two just regular spoon of uh, fish sauce, salt, sugar, uh, chicken soup base, and uh, beef soup base. And I add them all together here and a couple shake of uh, MSG. I don't want to add too much of that. So I'm going to put it into the broth now and then I'm going to let it uh, cook for about 15 minutes and then retaste it again. Okay, so I add it the seasonings and now I'm going to stir it up and mix it all together. Normally, I don't measure out uh, how much seasoning I use because usually I uh, put the seasoning toward, you know, my taste preference. But since today I'm doing a video, I kind of measured out a little bit to let you guys see how much uh, ingredients or seasoning I use. So maybe that will help you guys a little bit. So I just check and I see the tendons. It uh, done and it's very soft. Now I'm going to take it out. I don't want it too soft. So I also just check and the beef feet it uh, done too and it's soft. Now I'm gonna take it out also. Okay, so I took all the tendons out in the beef feet. And I've just set it here in a container and then uh, we can always put it back toward the end when we start eating. Also now, I'm gonna take out the onions. As you can see, they're very soft and are breaking apart already. So I'm gonna take it out. And that the only thing should be in here is the uh, beef bones and gingers and the spices. So after I took out the tendons, the neck bones, the beef feet and the onion, uh, the broth level went down. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then I'm gonna re-seasoning and uh, re-taste it. So while you brought it uh, simmering, if you see a lot of fat and other stuff float on top, like the bubble or the foam, you can take a ladle and uh, scoop it out but make sure you just scoop the top layer and not the broth you don't want to waste that okay so after you add more water to the broth and uh, simmer for 15 minutes now I'm gonna retaste and add more seasoning but as you can see when I'm skimming off the foam or the bubble and the fat now the uh, broth is clear so after I taste it, I'm going to add one spoon of sugar, one spoon of uh, chicken soup base, and one spoon of beef soup base, and half of a spoon of uh, fish sauce, and I'm going to add it on. This part, it kind of, you know, uh, you, for your own taste, you know, what you preference. Some people like a little saltier, sweeter, um, that kind of thing, so you can taste it how you want it. Okay, so after retasting it and add a little bit more seasoning toward what the taste I want, uh, my broth is almost done. I know you're probably thinking it takes forever, but it definitely worth it. The longer you simmer the broth, the better it's gonna taste. And we almost reaching six hours, so I'm gonna simmer for another 15 minutes, and then I will add on the beef meatballs. Okay, so the beef meatballs look like this in a packet. I got uh, this at the Vietnamese market, but I'm sure you can find it at the Asian market also. Um, this one is with tendons, but you can get it without tendons. So out of the packet, it looks like this. You can either the, put the whole meatballs into the broth, or you can cut it in half. I prefer to cut it in half so it can uh, soak up the broth, and I think it would taste better.
Okay, so my broth is almost ready, but here is my toppings for the beef soup. I got Thai basil, you have to have Thai basil, uh, green onion or scallion, and then cilantro, and white onion. Uh, usually we have another type of cilantro, it's called Vietnamese cilantro, but uh, I went to two different markets and I didn't find any, so we're gonna do without it. But now I'm gonna cut up the onions, uh, and then chop the green onions, and uh, chop the cilantro in a smaller bit. Okay, so after six hours, my uh, beef broth is done. I re-taste and uh, re-season toward the way I want, and it tastes wonderful. And now I'm gonna put in the beef meatballs that I cut in half, and also I'm gonna put in the neck bone to let the, the broth, the juice, soak back into the meat. And I'm gonna cook it for about 10 minutes to let uh, the broth and the juice to soak into the beef balls also. While you're doing that, I'm gonna chop up onions, cilantro, and get ready to eat. Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare my uh, noodles. So did what the packet looked like. Uh, one of the packets served about four people. So once you take out of the packet, that's what it looked like. And all you have to do is uh, boil some water. Once it reads boil, you take the noodles, uh, dip it in the water for about five to 10 seconds, and take it out and you should be good. Because once uh, you pour in the hot broth, uh, it also help uh, cook the noodle also. So you don't want to dip it too long because then it became soggy. So once the water uh, come to a boil, you can take some noodle, put in a strainer, and put it in there. Like that. So I only uh, have one hand recording and uh, one hand doing it. Might be a little difficult, but uh, basically just dip the noodle down. Make sure that the whole thing cover for about, you know, 10 seconds. Look at that. Okay, and that is it. I'll take it out and put in your bowl. Got my bowl here. Make sure it drain though, so you don't get, you know, the, the water would make the broth taste different or diluted the broth, so. So then, put in your bowl, just like that. So when you are slicing your white onion, make sure you slice it thin, as thin as possible, so it tastes better. And then also when you slice the green onion or scallion, you wanna slice it uh, small and thin like that. And then now I'm gonna do the cilantro. Okay, so when you chop up your cilantro, chop it thin, just like that. Okay, so I got my neck bone back into the pot and I got the beef balls in there. Now I'm waiting for it to come to a boil and uh, ready to eat. While doing that, I'm gonna prepare myself a bowl. So usually, I uh, eat a pretty big bowl. So uh, some of the topping, are, you gotta have bean sprout. You gotta have Thai basil white onions, thin slice of beef. You can either eat it uh, like medium rare or rare or cooked. All depend on your preference. Green onions or scallions. Cilantro slide up. You got uh, uh, beef feet and I got my tendons. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna add some bean sprout. Usually I want to get a good handful. I love bean sprout. And then I want to get some, uh, you know, white onions, kind of spread it around. But I love white onion also. And then get some uh, green onions. I love onions, so I'm going to put a whole bunch. And then get my cilantro.
Gonna get some tendons. I like tendons. And then I'm gonna get myself a good uh, beef feet right there. And now I'm gonna take some uh, some thin slice of beef and put it on top. Okay, so this is what my bowl of uh, beef noodles is gonna look like. I got in there the thin slice of beef on top and now the broth is uh, coming to a boil. I'm gonna pour it on top. So, looking so delicious, I am so ready. It's been uh, over six hours, so I'm pretty hungry and anxious and you know, it definitely worth the wait. The key is, you want to let the broth come to boil so it's hot, so it also help, uh, you know, cook the, the beef if you don't want it to be rare. Okay, so. Okay, my daughter over there helping me uh, washing the vegetable. Okay, shut the water up, please. What do you guys think? Please shut the water up, Ava. Okay. Look at that delicious bowl of beef noodle. I think that plenty of broth. I can't wait to uh, dig into it. Okay, I just got myself a neck bone with some meat. Look at that. Now my uh, beef noodle soup is complete. Look at this big bowl. I can't wait to uh, to eat it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, after uh, you know about six hours. I finally get enjoyed it. Look at that. Why it's still nice and uh, nice and hot. So what I usually do is get some uh, hoisin sauce. Oh, some uh, sriracha. But what I really like is chili paste. Did really kick it up a knot if you want spicy. So usually. Then I mix them all together. Whew. You got all the goodness right here. You guys see that? You got the noodles, you got the meat, you got the tendons, you got the beef balls. Usually make my show a dip with a poison sauce. And uh some chili paste. And one thing I forgot is I'm gonna get my shell a piece of lime. Got my shell a piece of lime. Squeeze in to make my dip. Also squeeze into my soup. And then remix it again. Might have left it a few minutes cooling down. You wanna eat it when it when it's warm and hot. So here you go. Get myself some noodles, some boss. Mmm. Some beef dip in my sauce. Plus it uh, definitely worth the six hour wait.
so good. So as you can see, um, it only takes a little over six hours to create the uh, traditional Vietnamese beef noodle soup. Uh, I show you the step how I do it. If you guys want to give it a try, please let me know how it turn out for you guys. Leave me some comments, feedback, and uh, I will reply to it. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumb up. If you can support my channel, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. And now I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the uh, delicious uh, noodle soup. So we'll see you next time. Bye bye.